Hi guys, welcome to part 2 of this Django Beyond the Basics series. Today we are going to continue where we left off the last time, but we are going to create two additional applications. One is going to be called Movies and the second one is going to be called Actors. For both of them we are going to set up the models. One of the models will be an abstract model class, so this is something very interesting and we will talk about this once we go to the computer. And then we are also going to apply another very interesting feature called render form change method. This, is going, this method will be applied on the many-to-many -many field in the admin. So yeah, let's get started. All right, guys, I'm back at Visual Studio Code. I have our project open. And before I do anything over here, let's jump back to the terminal, quit the server from running, and let's install two additional applications. So first one will be the movies, Python manage PY start app movies. And the second one will be actors, Python manage PY start app actors. All right, so now we can jump back into Visual Studio Code, code and over here we have our uh, movies and actors. So maybe we can begin from the actors. Let's open up the models py file, and over here we are going to define an actor class. This actor class inherits from models.model. And the fields are going to be two. The first one is going to be simply the name, so let's do this as an ordinary char field with the max length of 200. And the second one will be a boolean field, and let's call it is star, and this is going to be a models boolean field with a default value of false. So now we can um, add a string representation and let's return str self name. So let me explain why do we have this is star. So if the actor will have a is star status, he will he or she will be dedicated to um, movies, to films, to you know Hollywood productions. If the is star will be set to false, those actors will be dedicated to commercials. I don't want to offend anybody here. Uh, if uh, you have, you know, friends who work at com commercials, there are still probably great actors. I just want to make this for educational purposes. So, uh, okay, we have our actor model set up. We can just save it and move to the movies. Over here, we are going to create three classes. So the first one will be the movie, the second one will be the film, and the third one will be the commercial. So the idea is to create a movie class with some common fields, and then let the film and commercial inherit from that class. So let's do this. Let's write a movie class with models.model uh, it inherits from models.model and the common fields will be the title we will also have the actors so this is going to be a many-to-many -many field and let's also put in a date so those three fields will refer to the film as well as the commercial so over here let's put again a, a char field with the max length of 200. Um, in the actors, as mentioned before, we are going to set a many-to-many -many field with the actor class, so we need to import it. We need to import the actor model, so from actors.models import actor. And we are also going to set this to be blank equals to true. Because we can set a movie and we might not decide 
uh, yeah, what actors do we want to have in it? So we, we are setting this as optional and later we have the ability to add the actors. And also let's set the date to be equal models, date, time, field with auto now add is equal to true. All right, let's add a string representation. Come on, self and return str self title. Okay, um, but the main point over here is that we actually don't need this because we are going to set a class meta and we are going to write down abstract is equal to true. So we aren't going to set the tables in the database for this particular class. Instead, we will set the tables for the classes that will inherit from this class. So let's write down class film and this inherits from movie and over here we can do a test actually so let's see for ourselves how this will work str self and then return str self title we are going to try to register this class in the admin as well so let me leave it like this and then in the film we will have an additional field of length and this is going to be a models char field and with the max length of 200. So if you think about it we are doing something extremely similar to the previous part. From the pre previous part we were extending the user model and in this part we are extending the movie model okay so for the film we are adding the field of length and for the commercial class we will add a field of let's say company for what company we are creating this commercial so let me copy the char field type and let's also copy the string representation provided over here. Let me just fix the indentation problems and let's put it over here as well. Okay, so what we do what we want to do next is to register those classes in the admin. So over here from dot models import movie then we want to import the film and we want to import the commercial and now we can write down admin site register and let's put in the movie the film and the commercial uh, commercial all right so uh, what we need to do next is to go to the movie approach settings py and add movies to the installed apps list movies and also we need to add actors. Okay, and now we can go to the terminal, Python, manage py, make migrations. And over here we have the model movie is abstract, so it cannot be registered within the admin. So yeah, as mentioned before, this won't work. And let me just get rid of this. So uh, we won't actually need this string representation. Um, let's go back and let's run one more time. Python manage py make 
migrations. Mm, I didn't save the file, sorry about that. And one more time, Python manage py make migrations. Okay, Python manage py migrate and Python manage py run server. Let's go to home and here we have the movies and here are our commercials but we don't see the actors because we forgot to register the actors so we created the model but uh, yeah it's not in the admin so we can fix this really quickly from dot models import actor and admin site register actor okay so now let's save it refresh and here are our actors so since we are talking about the admin maybe we can change the site administration and Django administration names in order to do so we need to go to the movie proj find our URLs py file and over here let's begin with this Django administration so what we need to do is to write down admin and then site and set the site header and this will be for example movies administration so now if we save this go back refresh here we have movies administration and what we can do next is to write down admin site index title and this will be uh, maybe manage the site something like this or manage the movies site let's save it refresh and here we have it okay guys so now let's add some objects so let me add maybe Bradley Cooper he's definitely a star so, such a talented actor let me save and add another one and let's also add Gal Gadot also a big star how can you not like Gal Gadot let me save and add another one and let's add some actors for the commercial so over here I'm just going to put in commercial actor one save and add another one and commercial actor two all right so now let's try to add a movie so let's go back to home and let's begin with the commercials let's press add and over here we have the entire list so what we would like to do is to display only uh, if we are dealing with the commercials only the commercial actors and then when we go to the films we would like to display only the stars so the actors dedicated to for example big Hollywood productions all right so in order to do that we need to go to our movies application and access admin py file here let's create a class and let's begin from the films so let's call it film model admin which inherits from admin dot model admin and inside we can use the render change form method so render change form and this takes in self request and then context and arcs and keyword arcs and here we need to write down context admin form next we need to write down form fields and refer to this actors field that we defined in our uh, movie class over so this is where we are referring to and next we need to write down a query set so for this particular field we are going to set a new query set which will be actor but we need to act import the actor model first so from actors dot models import actor and here we can write down actor 
objects and we want to filter and we want to filter by the is star so for the films the is star should be true we want to have only the stars in our many to many field and then we need to return super take this render change copy it put it over here and also the mm, request context arcs and keyword arcs so i'm going to copy all of this and put it inside over here okay so this should actually work if we save this um, actually there's one more step that we need to take and that is to register this this class film model admin next to the film now if we save this we go to the films add a film here as you can see we only see the stars so for the commercials it will be very much the same we just need to copy this change the name to commercial and then what we need to do is to write down is true false grab the commercial model admin put it next to the commercial save it and we can try to add a commercial so i'm going to go to the movies commercials add and as you can see we have only uh only the commercial actors all right guys so maybe we can um, add one commercial and one movie before we finish to see if everything is working correctly so maybe i will uh, put in toothpaste commercial and i'm going to select actor one and the company will be toothpaste co okay let's save it and there it is and then let's go to the films um let's add i don't know interstellar 2 and let's say bradley cooper and gal gadot will play in it length let's say it will be 300 minutes let's save it and as you can see this is working as well okay guys so this is it for this part we will continue working on this project in the next one thank you for your time uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And yeah, have a great day and see you soon. Take care and bye-bye.